here and today let's learn how to play Taylor's brand new song All of the Girls You Loved Before on the guitar. Here's a quick overview of everything I'll be covering in this tutorial today and with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so we only have six chords to play through this song and we're going to start with our B minor which looks like this and sounds like this. By the way, if you don't know how to read these chord charts you're seeing on screen, I do cover how to do that in my free beginner course right here on YouTube, so I'll make sure to link that right here. The next chord is our D chord. After that we have our G chord. Next is our F sharp minor chord. After that we have our A chord. The last chord you need to know is your E minor chord. And those are the six chords you need to know to play this song. So go ahead and pause the video and just take a few minutes to memorize these chord shapes as well as practice transitioning back and forth between them because it will make learning the rest of the song so much easier. And if you need a little bit of help with those chord transitions, I do have an entire Practice With Me series right here on my other channel, Forever Faithful. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into those strumming patterns. Now the first thing I always suggest doing is going through the entire song and singing it through and pairing it with a single down strum for every chord change. And this just helps you get used to where those chords are changing and what words you're singing and things like that. So here's a quick example of what verse one would look like. Did you think of all the late nights, lame fights over the phone? Three, four. Wake up in the morning with someone but feeling alone. All right, so you basically just want to do that for the entire song and get really used to where those chords are going to be like changing throughout the song. This is actually something you can do right now if you want to check out my Patreon page. I do have this entire guide with everything I'm teaching in this video today, um, downloadable and printable. So make sure to check that out. I will link it in the description box down below. All right guys, so the first strumming option I have for you, as you can see, is super simple. It's just down, down, up, down, up. So let's go ahead and zoom in and talk about this rhythm. All right guys, so this is gonna be counted in a triplet rhythm. So basically you wanna think of that one of two ways. You can either count it like one, two, three, four, five, six, or you can think of it as one and a, two and a. Either way, the important thing to remember is that we have that kind of waltzy, dancey, kind of bouncy feel to this. So this strumming pattern is gonna sound like this. One and a two and a three and a four and a one, a two and a three, a four and a down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. point out is that this is only half the strumming pattern for a full measure. So if you wanted to play this strumming pattern for the full measure, you would repeat it twice. So for example, in verse one, we have our B minor where you play it once. Down, down, up, down, up. Then we have our D. Down, down, up, down, up. But then you want to hold out this G for a full measure, so you repeat this twice. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Alright? So the whole thing sounds like this. using this strumming pattern for most of the song. You could also do it for the pre-choruses. Your past and mine are parallel lines Stars all align and they intertwine and touch you The way you call me baby Treat me like a lady All that I can say is Alright? 
Um, but for the choruses, I would recommend a different strumming pattern. So let's go ahead and talk about strumming pattern two. And guys, really quick before we jump into the second strumming pattern, I wanted to say if you are a Taylor Swift fan, you're a huge Swifty and you love learning the guitar, make sure to subscribe. This is a brand new channel that I'm starting called Taylor Tutorials. So as the name suggests, this whole channel is gonna be dedicated 100% to only teaching Taylor Swift songs on the guitar. So if you are excited to learn all of her songs, make sure to subscribe right now so you don't miss out anytime I post a new video. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and jump back into the strumming pattern. All right guys, so the second strumming pattern is super similar to the first one. As you can see, it's just six down strums. So let's go ahead and zoom in and talk about the rhythm. All right guys, so just like strumming pattern one, this is gonna be another triplet rhythm. So we're gonna count it exactly the same way, except this time we're gonna do all down strums for every beat that we're counting, okay? So we have one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a down 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 and you just want to do it one time for every chord and i think it sounds perfect for all the choruses note whenever she sings but I love you more I always like to kind of mute my strings and just sing that line without any guitar um, but that's the second strumming pattern again I would use that for the choruses and I also like to use that for the bridge going to the end of the song like that um, but again those are the two strumming patterns I came up with I think they both sound pretty good with this song you could either choose to mix and match them or just stick with one for the whole song I think it sounds pretty great um, but yeah that's strumming pattern two all right guys so again make sure to pause the video and just take as much time as you need to practice these strumming patterns as well as kind of internalize them so that you kind of can play them without thinking about the counting so rigidly it'll make putting in the singing a lot easier um, but once you've done that we can go Go ahead and put the song together to sing through it. jamming through the rest of the song with me then make sure to check out my patreon page where you can unlock access to this as well as all my other fast track and swifty sing-along tutorials i'll make sure to leave a link to that in the description box down below if you enjoyed learning this song with me today then i would definitely recommend checking out this video next not only does it have a really similar vibe but it's just as easy to play so i will see you over there bye